Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. We had a little sunshine this afternoon. Still very warm conditions. We made it up to 73 degrees here in Waco. And now the clouds are kind of thickening back up here across the region. More moisture starting to increase. So I do think fog may develop once again later on tonight and early tomorrow morning. Current temperature here in Waco at 64 degrees. It is 70 right now in Gatesville, 68 Temple, 71 in Colleen. And you can still see some very warm temperature readings, 72 in Brenham. Look at Lano. Current temperature at this hour right at 75 degrees. As we look at the visibilities, down to eight miles right now in Waco. It's not bad, but as you work your way over toward the Brazos Valley and then areas just off to the east, right along I-45 there, that's where we're seeing some uh, little thicker fog. Eventually, that moisture will creep up our way and we will be seeing some lower visibilities here overnight and tomorrow morning. Right now, the satellite photograph shows pretty quiet conditions on top of us. Again, skies are partly to mostly cloudy, and that'll be the story later on tonight. Again, winds not too bad out of the southeast, under 10 miles per hour. As you work your way down toward the Brazos Valley, it's even lighter than that. Notice the arrows coming from the southeast. That's moisture moving right up our way. So again, moisture in place, light winds. Yeah, you bet. That means fog developing later on tonight. Take a look at our forecast. This is at 7 o'clock. A few more clear spots off to the west, but those will start to kind of fade away as the clouds move in. And by midnight, mainly cloudy skies. Temperatures in the lower 60s, but notice that moisture stream starting to continue here. So again, some fog, some drizzle, some mist, not out of the question overnight and early tomorrow as temperatures actually begin to warm. We may drop out around 61, 62 degrees by midnight. By 6 or 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, though, we're going to be in the mid to upper 60s. And as we go throughout the day, though, we're going to watch those winds pick up a little bit. So that should take care of the fog. But there's a cold front on the way. By 5 o'clock, it's going to be to our northwest. Out ahead of the front, some scattered rain showers here and there. Not everybody will see them, but about a 30% chance. And even as that front moves through, behind it, some post-frontal rain, not out of the question either, with some cooler air ushering it in behind that. And as we go throughout the day on Thursday, notice those temperatures uh, in the 60s and upper 50s in the morning. Well, by the afternoon, we're going to be in the upper 40s to lower 50s. So definitely some cooler weather. But that front to the south, as you will see in the seven day, comes back up as a warm front by the end of the week. Tonight, though, let's talk about that fog moving in. We could see some drizzle, some mist. 61 degrees will be the low temperature. And then tomorrow, some fog in the morning, otherwise mostly cloudy, with a 30% chance of afternoon showers popping up. 77 degrees will be the high temperature tomorrow. And take a look right now. This is Ray's Automotive seven day forecast. There's the front, 62 on Thursday, and then right back up into the 70s on Friday. Then we cool it down, but the weekend looks great. Sunshine on Saturday as well as Sunday. 56 on Sunday. Saturday, 62. The models indicate cooler weather next week. We could be talking high temperatures only in the 40s there on Tuesday. You notice down toward the Brazos Valley there, we're talking some hit and miss, hit and miss rain showers, some isolated thunder, but the weekend does look good on Saturday and Sunday.